So this is crazy. I'm working at the Nobel party tonight, and this couldn't have happened if not for Stockholm University, the Stockholm University Student Union. The Nobel Week in Stockholm is one of the most important weeks of the year for many at Stockholm University. Several of our researchers participate in the Nobel committees, while others have close ties with the Nobel laureates and their prize-winning discoveries. It's been an amazing week. Uh, the Swedish people are so gracious, and uh, the Nobel ceremonies, I mean, it's just, there's nothing like it in the world. I'll never have another experience like this in the rest of my life. Both the campus and the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences receive visitors from all over the world, including national and international media. In 2013 alone, the university received visits from the Nobel laureates in physics, chemistry and medicine. Professors François Engler and Peter Higgs, this year's physics laureates, visited Alba Nova during Nobel week. We realized that there was a chance, you know, even though they have a very dense schedule, to, to have them come to Alba Nova, to the physics department at Stockholm University, and give a kind of panel discussion. And this was, of course, nice, since a large part of the physics department has been, you know, involved in, in the experimental part of this prize. So we were really happy that they accepted the invitation. We are, of course, here today to celebrate this year's Nobel Prize. They have discovered things about the universe that are really fundamental, and I think people are, are very much inspired by that. <laughs> Chemistry laureates Martin Karplus, Michael Levitt and Ariel Waschel took part in a panel debate on creativity, emphasizing the fact that the Nobel discoveries were made by young researchers. What we tend to forget, we think of researchers as senior professors, but all these laureates, they were in their 20s when they made the prize discoveries. And the people who are in their 20s here, they're PhD students and in some cases undergraduates. And in many cases, I think that's the most creative period in people's life. And it's important that people realize that early. Don't wait with doing science until you're an old professor. The work that was cited uh, for the Nobel Prize was done between, say, 67 and 75. And at 75, I was 27 years old. So, you know, and, but, you know, I keep on working, but they s chose something at the very beginning. And that makes me feel that young people should be out there trying their own independent things. And uh, because uh, young people have new ideas and old people are very good at pushing old ideas. It's great to be able to talk to them to get the feeling that what you do is, is worth it. And one day you might get, get the Nobel Prize yourself as well. <laughs> Two of the medicine laureates, Professors Randy Schekman and Thomas Seedhoff, visited the university to meet students and staff at the Department of Molecular Biosciences, the Venegrian Institute. Uh, well, Per Youngdahl invited me. Uh, per and I collaborated some years ago, published a paper together. My idea was to try, and, and the graduate students together wanted to focus on, on some kind of uh, aspect of doing science behind sort of uh, the prizes. Uh, and and also do it in a way that would also be instructional and, and also hopefully highlight some of the creative processes involved in doing science and, and, um, and, and as to a way of a source of inspiration. I mean, just meeting these people are great and just hearing their talking and thinking and discussing science and matters of their life is great. There are enormous opportunities now in biology to make discoveries that are of tremendous impact for understanding diseases and for helping our society. So I do hope that this will provide further motivation for people to learn more and to do more. It's been an amazing week. I'll never have another experience like this in the rest of my life.